Shalom, Shalom, Kol Halo, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Bakakadash, Jebba Honest, the elders of the apostles of the Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect up nation of Israel, and to you, speckled bird Israelites that look like the, the heathen nations that are scattered right across the four corners of the earth to y'all, say Shalom. And Shalom to all you brothers and sisters that may be listening to these videos. And shalom to all you brothers that are out there in the highways and byways and you know, on the hedges, you know, doing the work in these latter times, trying to wake up the elect. That's my name is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh is the true name of who they were and then they call us God or the Father or the Almighty. And Yahweh Shai is the name of who they were and then they call us Jesus. And uh, I also wanted to mention that this video is for the Israelites only, the elect of the nation of Israel. And uh, the Israelites today are who you call black, Hispanic, Native American, Cuban, Dominican, Puerto Rican, Jamaican, Haitian, Guatemalans, the Panamanians. Um, those are Israelites today, always happy and always will be. And um, I'm coming back at y'all with another video today, basically on uh, different topics. You know, I got this article pulled up that I've seen. And I think I came across it probably, I think, earlier today. And... There's another thing I want to bring out concerning this rapper that got shot. He's pretty popular, you know. Um, and uh, he didn't die, but, uh, you know, uh, he uh, he got shot, but he didn't, he didn't, his friend died. His friend, that's what it was. But um, um, at this fair, you know, there was a shooting. And uh, people were scattering like roaches. And uh, I tried to show y'all the video. I tried to find it, but I couldn't find it. But, um, you know, I'm going to get the scripture right quick. Um, what is that? In Ephesians chapter 5. Man, these Edomites are weird, man, you know. This Edomite, just, I don't know. I don't know what he just tried to say to me, you know. I don't know if y'all heard that, but he just said sorry and looked at me. He's, you know, Edomites are weird, <laughs> you know. I'm over minding my business over here trying to do this video. But this is Ephesians chapter 5 and verse um, 15. It says, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, or deeming the time because the days are evil. Right? So now we're in the time to where we have to walk circumspectly. We have to be repentant to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. We got to seek him, you know, with all our might, you know, not being lukewarm, you know, half stepping. You know, if you can do videos, you know, multiple videos a day or you know, you can fast and you do that. You know, the scriptures say pray without ceasing, you know, because we're in the time when the Lord is judging this, this earth, you know, and it ain't going to stop. It's only going to escalate and, and intensify and get worse and worse day by day until Jacob's trouble fully pops off. That MOTB comes, you know, that CHIP hits, you know, that famine comes, you know, people getting people being put in FEMA camps. It's only going to escalate until then, you know. And that's going to be that time of uh, tribulation, that hour of temptation, you know. Then we ain't going to be on the streets no more. We ain't going to be making videos no more. We ain't going to be uploading videos on the internet no more. You know, that persecution is going to come, you know. So now is the time to seek the Lord while he may be found. You know, as y'all can see on the screen, it has a large, it's a large group of people. It's a, You know, it's this little fair we got every year in Louisville, Kentucky, where I'm at. And it's always in August. I have I haven't went since before I was in the truth, you know, the last six seven years ago, you know, that's the last time I went to it. Now I don't really care for it, but you know, people just got out of this uh crown royale thing, and now you got this going on. So evil, just evil, evil upon evil is happening. You know, I'm gonna get this in the book of uh, Second Ezra chapter nine. This is Second Ezra chapter nine and verse five. It says, for like it's all that is made in the world at the beginning and the end, and the end is manifest. It says, even so times also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. You know, these are signs, man. The Lord is not, he, he's not with all the all this mirth and, you know, uh, people, a lot of the, a lot of our people, man, they into idolatry, they, they into adultery, you know, they, they murder their own people, you know. They're not, they're not praying to the Lord, man. I remember before I was in the truth, I would, how many times did I pray? You know, I didn't have the right names either. You know, that matters. You know, because you got some cats that say, oh, the names don't matter. You can call them whatever you want to. Why does it say that in the scriptures? They don't say that in the scriptures at all. You know, 
But I know before I was in truth, I didn't really pray like that. You know, if I did, like I would pray over like my food or something. But I would say it like real quick. I wasn't sincere about it. I didn't mean it. But now, you know, when the Lord changes your mind and, he, uh, you know, he puts that where Karkadash in you, the Holy Spirit in you, you're going to be sincere, you know. But before I was in the truth, before I knew I was, it was like, you know, before I knew what was required of me, I was not sincere, you know. I mean, I ain't going to say I didn't want to worship the Lord before I was in the truth. I did. I knew there was a creator, but I just didn't know how to worship him. You know, I just knew what my parents knew, what my family knew, like everybody else, you know. And uh, I want to get this. Uh, what's the other one I had? Um, the one of uh the rapper Quando, yeah, rapper Quando Rondo. It's an ugly name. Caught in hell of bullets, bees okay. Now I want to get this real quick in uh Second Peter. Um, what is it? Second Peter, chapter. Was the first Peter chapter four and verse seventeen? It says, um, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh, and if it first begin at us, what should be the end of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai? So, who's the house of Yahweh by Shemiah Shai? The Israelites. And mainly, those Israelites that know the truth, that know the Israelites, that claim they're Israelites, you know, that, that uh, you know, profess this knowledge, you know, it, it starts with us, really, you know, but, um, the wicked of our people, the two thirds of our people that you know that are not really Israel, you know, like it says in the book of Romans, I think the ninth chapter says, not all Israel is Israel, you know, because you have the wicked, you know, of our people, you know, they're like basically uh likened unto heathens, you know, and that's uh this rapper right here, he, he's basically a heathen in the spirit, he's not an Israelite in the spirit, you know, he's not following the ways after Yahweh, he's promoting nothing but death, you know, so our people, you know, like all these other rappers, and that's why. These type of things always happen to them. They they speak it into their music too. You know? They speak on it. You know? This is Proverbs chapter um 18, verse 13. It says speaking of speaking of things. This is uh Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 13. It says, He that ans that's it, this ain't it. Um it's lucky. Oh, this is this is it right here. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it should eat the fruit thereof. You know? So a lot of these rappers, man, they profess, you know, they're going to kill their own people. They profess that, you know, a lot of these rappers, you know, they can, the, the Lord, I think the Lord puts the spirit on these rappers, that, you know, the lifestyle that they live, but they know what lifestyle they live in. They know what's going to ultimately come. You know, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. That's in the scriptures too. So they know that the lifestyle that they live in, and they ain't going to live that long. They ain't going to live to no 70, 80 years old. They know that one day somebody going to get them, you know? There's rappers that have songs about, you know, the day that they die, you know, or when it, how it's going to happen or when it's, who it's going to be by problem, you know, they know these things, man. And a lot of our people, you know, especially these young Jakes out here, they look up to these rappers, man. They don't look up to, um, you know, the men of the Lord, you know, but it's judgment. Even though he didn't die, he didn't, the Lord didn't call him up to the spiritual realm, you know, hey. The Lord could be saving him for, for something else because I, I highly doubt he, he's going to repent. You know, I highly doubt he's going to repent. You know, and um, let me get this in, uh, what's that, Second Chronicles 15? Yeah, it don't matter how big you are or how, you know, small you are um, in this society or what your status is, the Lord does not care about that. You know, the Lord is the one who gave them what they got, you know, the riches, the, the jewelry, the cars, the houses, the women. The Lord is the one who gave you that. But that doesn't mean he's dealing with you. You know, because the scriptures also say that the ungodly and uh, increase in riches. I think that's in Psalm 73, I believe, or Psalm 72. Um, but I'm going to get this in Second Chronicles chapter 15 and verse 13. It says that whosoever will not seek the Lord, Yahweh, Shemiah, or Shad of Israel, should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. See? The Lord don't have no respect, you know, to you, whether you are a man or a woman or whether you're an elderly person or whether you um a newborn baby. Because everybody has been here before. There's there's such thing as called reincarnation or regeneration. We have all been here before. Ain't no, oh, this is the first time I'm here on the earth. Oh, that YOLO spirit. That, that ain't that ain't accurate. That ain't biblical. You know? Um and we're in the beginning of sorrows. That's why so much stuff keeps happening. Keeps happening um, back to back to back. We're in their time. 
you know, we're in that time. Um, let me get this in uh, Second Edges. I think that's chapter eight, verse fifty. I believe I could be wrong, but um, it says, "For many great miseries shall be done to them that the will in the latter time should the will in the world because they have walked in great pride." So that's why you got all these different plagues, these different illnesses. You know, it seems like there's no, it's not letting up, you know. Bad thing after bad thing keeps happening. Well, because that's the time of the Lord's judgment. And most people, they don't know the way the Lord operates. They think he's all love. Well, you're going to find out that he's not all love, you know. You're going to find out. And that's right here, what does it say? It says, Dr. Dre, which he's wicked. He's another, you know, rapper or whatever. Says he came so close to dying from a brain aneurysm. You see, but he didn't die, you know. You know, but the Lord kept preserving him for something else. You know, um, where's this other scripture at, um, for such as in their life? Yep. Yep. <clears throat> this is, uh, second Ezra chapter nine and verse nine. It says, then should I be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways and they that have cast them away despitefully should dwell in the torments. A lot of people are in torments, man, in different types of ways, man. The Lord can plague you mentally. Um, well, bodily elements, like, you know, physically, you know, you could have aches in your body. You could have, I don't know, you could have high blood pressure. You could have um, massive headaches. Um, you know, you could have just something weird going on with your body physically, you know, or or just other problems financially, you know, um, relationship wise. It's all types of different ways the Lord can get you, you know. I'm going to get this in verse 10. It says, for such as in their, for such as in their life. Have received benefits that have not known me. And they that have loathed my law, while they yet had liberty, and when yet as place of repentance was opened unto them, understood not, but despised it, the same must know after death by pain. You see? A lot of these rappers, you know, most of our people I believe they have heard that they have heard the truth. They have heard that they are Israelites, but they rejected it. So what's going to happen to you? Death. That's what's coming to you. You know? Nothing good is coming to two-thirds of our people. Or if you're not in this truth or you fell out, nothing good is coming to you. Expect death to come to your door, you know? And it's just sanctioned anyway that, the, you know, that these people are going to continually act the way they act, you know, not seeking the Lord, you know, doing um, mischievous things. And, you know, judgment is going to keep raining down until Yahweh Shai returns and, and uh, Jacob Trevor pops off, you know? But, you know, it, it's going to keep getting worse and worse, man. We're coming into a time like never before, so... This is just the beginning, man. So I'm going to close out. Um, Lord willing, I might come back and make a part two on other topics, you know. But I had to do this just, you know, real quick. Um, I'm going to give all honor and glory to you. How about Shemiel Shad, by Shemiel Kakadash, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel. I'm going to say Shalom. Wa'a ba ba ba.